Hi, Bill Greenberg with BoneScholar.com. Today is Tuesday, June 8, 2010. And a couple of things. Just want to let you know throughout this week, there's still going to be a ton of stories about the iPhone uh, 4. And I'm going to do as many updates as I can to keep you informed. Hopefully it won't get uh, too inundated or too boring. There's also so many articles and stuff going on right now. I probably have about seven uh, that I put it on the back burner to put into the website because I really don't want to inundate you with too much stuff. I have four that I put on today and then some of the categories which we'll go over um, and basically that's it. So here's a summary of what's on the website today. 10 things Android does better than the iPhone OS. Now this is an article from Maximum PC. This is not my opinion uh, but it's, it's pretty true and this gives you a kind of idea so you can choose and decide with everything that's coming on and I'm just going to highlight a couple of things um, the number one thing says multitasking of course with the new uh, iOS 4 for the iPhone 4 that's not going to be an issue because it is going to do multitasking but remember that's only the iOS 4 there's still going to be plenty of 3GS's out there that don't do it while all the Androids do so that's one thing um, now they say there's a better app market and we understand there's 120 to 200,000 apps for the uh, iPhone, only about 50,000 apps plus for the Android, but they're saying, number one, the Android's going to catch up pretty quickly. But a couple of things, um, the reason why they're saying it's better is because with the Apple iPhones, they're submitted, Apple checks them, and if they like them, they put them through. If they don't, they don't. I guess with the Android, the way the article read was they put pretty much everything on there. If they sell... Basically, it's consumer-driven. If they sell, then they stay. If they if they don't, then they go. So it's that kind of stuff. Plus, there's no censorship on the Android app. So uh, for those of you that want to get other types of applications that's not available on iPhone, you have that option. Um, you do get to choose your hardware. There's many, many different phones other than the one type. You do get to choose your carriers. All four carriers offer Android phones. Uh, and you do have more options to fit your budget. So if you don't want to put out necessarily two or three hundred dollars for an iPhone uh, you do have other options to do that so I'm not saying I'm not saying the iPhone's better this is just ten reasons why and I just want to give you a fair look at both sides uh, next there's a video big hopes for the iPhone antenna and there's a video with Steve Jobs explaining how the iPhone the, the stainless steel band that's going around the new iPhone actually has a built-in antenna and so he there's a video on there explaining how that works and what it does so take a look at that uh, developing, excuse me, decoding the new AT&T iPhone data plans. And I've had a couple of articles about this, but this is a question and answer uh, that really, really goes into the data plans and what you can do and what you can't do. It's really a, a good article, so take a look. A couple of questions, uh, things like, do I have to get rid of the current $30 unlimited plan? And if you already have it, then the answer is no. You can keep that and get the new phone. Uh, if they... If, if I try the new plan, can I go back, which is a no. If Once you switch over, you're done. Can we share data plans through different phones or iPads, stuff like that? And the answer is no. It's individual to each device. But take a look. Uh, there's a number of questions there, and it's pretty good. And lastly, something completely different, but there's uh, mal malware. Sorry, malware is found lurking in apps for Windows Mobile. And there was, um, from, down from download sites, there's somebody that copy the programs, repackage them with the malware inside. And what happens is once they're activated, it's a virus that starts an auto-dialer. Now these auto-dialers are very, very popular in places like Russia and other, and other countries. It hasn't been that much of an issue here, but they're, but they're getting more and more. And what it does is it calls numbers in places like Somalia and the South Pole and things like that, premium rate numbers, and it can bump your bill 50 to 100 bucks a month, and most people don't realize it until they get that extra bill. So something to check out, the apps that they're talking about are 3D Anti-Terrorist Game, PDA Poker, and the Codec Pack for the Windows Mobile 1.0. So check out those if you happen to have a Windows Mobile phone and you've downloaded any of those. Uh, check those out. Make sure you can also go to www.microsoft.com slash protect and download a protection, kind of like a firewall, for your phone that should stop any of the malware from uh, happening. So check that out. Under Categories, in the Apple iPhone and iPad category, MasterCard lets iPhone owners send or receive money with the new app. Of course, we need one more way <laughs> to use and abuse our credit cards, but this is not bad. It's called Money Send. It's a free app. Uh, it does have to be linked to the, the MasterCard that you have. So make sure that Money Send that has, that has an option on the MasterCard that you have. 
Uh, it's really great if you just want to send money from, they use an example to pay off a babysitter or stuff like that into their account. So check it out, it's not bad. Uh, under the Kindle category, Amazon Kindle tops Consumer Reports ratings. Consumer Reports rated nine ebook readers that they tested, uh, including the iPad, and the Kindle came out on top, so take a look at that. And under uh, the Verizon Wireless category and the Android category, Verizon Wireless adds VCast to Android. And this is very important right now because they did it just in time for the World Cup. So all the Verizon Wireless Android phones now have the ability to add VCast, which they didn't have before. It's $10 a month on top of the $30 data plan, so be, be known for that. And what happened was AT&T had an exclusive with ESPN Mobile to broadcast all 64 games. Anybody else that wanted to broadcast games could only broadcast 56. Now, I don't know if those other eight included, if those meant those were the championship games or side games, it doesn't say. Uh, but now with the VCast, they've kind of circumvented that exclusive and you can get all 64 games. So check it out. If you really like soccer and you have an Android, now you got a way to go. This is, Bill, once again, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Anything that you need, any options that you want, any products that you're looking for, any questions that you might have, send me a, no, a note at blogquestions at uh, PhoneScholar.com. I will talk to you tomorrow.